Hey, shalom, everyone. This is Dr. Durr. I'd like to welcome you back to the Wake Up Yashorel channel. All praise to the Most High Yahuwah from whom all Baruchah and benefits flow. Saints, the Most High is worthy to be praised, esteemed above measure. There is none like unto him. I honor him with my life. I honor him with every, all my being. I give him every ounce of me. As the set apart scripture say in one of the apocryphal books, I'm going to serve him 10 times more, a hundred times more than I did when I was over in Christianity or in the world, living the way I did in the world. I gave it everything I had in the world, living in sin, living in wickedness. So therefore coming to Yah, I want to give him more energy, more of my strength, more of my being, total being, to serve him in spirit and in truth. I want to give him everything. Why? Because he's given me everything, life, and life more abundantly. I praise the most high on the day. I want to thank him for allowing me to see another day. My wife and my family doing well as well as my other, my children, my children, children, my family members all over this world. Even all the Hebrew Israelites that, that we see on the different uh, channels and the social networks. I thank the most high for a lot of you that are saying kind words to me and giving me strength and to keep moving forward even after the situation that happened in my life uh, with my mother. I thank all of you for sending me condolences and encouraging me to keep moving forward. I praise the most high for you. Look, we all go through something. We all have to face dilemmas, hardship, pain. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but it's Yahuwah that's going to deliver them out of them all. We all have to face stuff. None of us is exempt. I don't care if you preach, you don't preach. I don't care if you teach, you don't teach. I don't care if you're rich, I don't care if you're poor. I don't care if you're broke, I don't care if you're wealthy. I don't care if you're black. I don't care if you so-called white. It don't matter. Every one of us will have to face different things in life. Similar things. We need food to eat. We need water to drink. We need money to pay our bills. We need a job to work. We need assistance over here. We need assistance over here. That's why we shouldn't be walking around in pride and in arrogance, making ourselves seem like we're something more than someone else because we may have something at this time. The set of part scripture talks about how you need to consider your ways. You need to check yourself when it comes down to you bragging about the money you have because that money can be taken away from you. Consider your ways. Check yourself when you're walking around bragging and boasting about your prosperity, what you have. The scripture says in Timothy that you brought nothing in this world and certain you're going to take nothing out. The Bible says your life does not consist of the thing you possess but who possesses you, which is Yahuwah himself. You need to be concerned about walking up right before him. Not all this gain and this prosperity. There's nothing wrong with having money. There's nothing wrong with having a nice lifestyle. There's nothing wrong with having a limited lifestyle. The thing is, who are you connected to with that lifestyle? If you have limited income and don't have y'all, you're still in trouble with y'all. If you have more, a lot of money and you connected to y'all, you in connection with y'all. See, it can go either way. You can have no money and not be connected. You can have a lot of money and be connected or vice versa. So what Yah is telling you, serve me with everything you have. Focus on me with everything you have. Seek ye first the kingdom of Yah and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. What things is he talking about? Your daily necessities, your food, your clothing, your house you live in, your paying your bills. Don't be worrying about that stuff. The Gentiles, the wicked people seek those things. Uh, and they go after those things with everything they have, and they will even kill for those things. So we are, as the people of Yah, we trust Yah to sustain us, to help us survive. He said it's because of Him we live, we move, and we have our being. Hallelujah. We praise the Most High. Look, this is the day that Yah has made. We're going to rejoice and be glad in it. You need to keep being encouraged, uh, saints. Enjoy this preparation day and uh, preparing for the Shabbat. Hallelujah. Serve Yah and spirit on the truth. Get you some rest on that Shabbat. Uh, spend time with the Most High on that Shabbat and your family. See, the, the, Yah is so strategic in all his ways and all he's doing and all his doings. I watched the Most High when I started doing Shabbat in my, when I was in Christianity pastoring, I started doing Shabbat services. I started doing Shabbat uh, services, Shabbat teachings, and the people well, I remember the old schedule. Let me go over that right quick. The old schedule was Sunday church, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 
Friday, you work and you do other things in the middle of that. And then Saturday, you go to a football game or a basketball game, a picnic, a partying, or going to shop or doing those things on that day. And we were worn, wearing ourselves out. And Sunday, we back in church again. So there was no real, real rest break. But when we started doing Shabbat, I'm going to show you the miracle of Yah doing that Shabbat. I'll never forget people going to work on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and doing all those other things. But on that Shabbat, they came to the church. When they came to the church or the assembly that we had, they, they got out and left. And guess what happened? That Sunday, they were at home resting that whole day. They rested on Shabbat after the service. We had fellowship with each other. They rested after that. They had their time, that whole Shabbat, after Shabbat was over. They had their time. And then they had time to rest that whole Sunday. They told me after a few months had passed by, they said, Pastor, I feel a whole lot better when I go to work on Monday because that Sunday, I take that Sunday to rest as well. And I may do some things with my family. I'm just chilling. But I go to work so refreshed and so revived and my body is healing. The Shabbat brings healing. The Shabbat brings rest to your mind and weariness. That's why we get some of our best rest on Shabbat. We have everything already set up to run, but we get our best rest on Shabbat. Saints, we don't don't wear yourself out. Keep the most high Shabbat. Don't put anything before Shabbat. Serve him in that Shabbat like he required for us to do it. He said, remember the Shabbat, the Sabbath day, and keep it holy. He said the Shabbat was made for us. Hallelujah. It was made for us to do what? To worship the Most High, to honor him, to rest on that day as he rested from his work. Hallelujah. So I'm encouraged, thanks. I want to move forward. Like I said, you already know what's going on in the world. I don't have to always mention what's going on in the world. You know what's happening. You know what's taking place. I pray that the Most High keep each and every one of you. Protect each and every one of you. Put his, keep his hand on you and your family, your children, your children, 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 all your family members, and each and every one of you, he keeps you as he keeps me and my family. And y'all pray for me the same way. Now, he also said in Leviticus, we need to ask him to forgive us, our forefathers, our fathers, our ancestors, for all the sin and the wickedness that we did wrong towards him. And that's in Leviticus 26. Ask him to forgive us, wash our slate clean, and also cry out to y'all about coming to deliver us out of the hands of these wicked heathens and enemies. They're coming up with a lot of schemes and plans, as I always state. I told you, something's going to be rehearsed and taught over and over again. That's just the nature of this walk. You're going to hear stuff over and over again. You got to read the certified scriptures over and over again. It's not a book with pictures. You can find you one like that, but it's not a lot of books with pictures. But the pictures they have in most of those books are pictures of the heathens, the Gentiles, not of you and I, the original Hebrew Israelites. So if you find one with the, uh, some photos of the original Hebrew Israelites, use that book. That, there's nothing wrong with that. Study from it. But at the same time, you got to make sure you find one that's not uh, taking away his name. That has taken out his name and taken out his son's name and taken out his people uh, from those books. So you got to make sure everything is line up on line, precept on precept. We in a, It's a fight to find a lot of good stuff. It's a fight because the world was given over into the hands of the wicked. Uh, this is Lucifer's domain. Uh, but the most I told us, even though it's his domain, he's given us power over all the power of the enemy and nothing and no thing shall be our enemies hurt us. I pray that the most high keeps you guys, strengthen you, give you your uh, food, give you the water, give you everything you need to make it through. I pray that he gives you everything and continue to keep the faith saints. I just wanted to give you a short message to encourage you. Be strong in Yah and in the power of his might. Shalom.